All right, the next topic is autoimmune thyroid disease. Auto meaning it's from within yourself, immunity, your own cells attacking it, and thyroiditis. Anytime you have itis at the end, it means inflammation. So what is happening is your own cells from the body is attacking your thyroid gland for whatever reason. There's no explanation to it. There are two common antibodies which are found for low thyroid activity. They are called as um, thyroid peroxidase antibody and thyroglobulin antibodies. So these are simple blood tests which we can do to find out whether your thyroid gland is under attack. When it, I'm talking about hyperactive thyroid gland or overactive thyroid gland, there's another antibody called TSI, thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, and that will activate the thyroid to produce more hormone. So in other words, autoimmune thyroid disease can be a low acting thyroid or a fast acting thyroid. And a, some children can have both successively, some children will have one. The most common one is the low acting thyroid. The higher act, the fast acting thyroid or hyperthyroidism is relatively less common, a little bit more difficult to deal with. One important point to remember, autoimmune thyroid disease, you cannot make the antibodies go away. So all you do is to support the thyroid gland with some kind of medication or some kind of treatment because you have at this point of time as it stands in 2015 July, we do not have anything to make the antibodies go away. Thank you.